Good afternoon. So it's about 2.30 almost. And we just got back on trail a little while ago. We were dropped off by Bruce and Don. And they were just the most incredible, hospitable people. Like they met Emily and Teresa on trail at the Blood Mountain. And you know, they just offered up their house and everything. They, they, they bought us food fresh vegetables and berries. Berries are expensive. And, you know, they went out of their way to hang up our tents in the garage so that they could get dry. They moved heaters so that our shoes could get dry. Like, it was just incredible what they did for us. And we're so grateful. And I'll insert some pictures so that you guys can see them. Um, I was a little emotional earlier because I just can't believe that there are people out there like that, you know? Like, I don't know that I would feel comfortable just picking up strangers and taking them to my home. But they did that for us. And so they are trail angels. And yeah, now we're dry and warm and it's sunny and the weather has cleared up. So they took us in as stray wet puppies and healed us back to life. And uh, yeah, we're just so grateful. So thank you. And now we're hiking, hiking on. Short day today since we got a late start. And tomorrow will be a big day, but we are refreshed and ready to go for this next week. So that's all thanks to Bruce and Don. So thank you again. currently heading downhill but it's been very much a roller coaster today <laughs> already um, woke up this morning at 6 but we didn't leave until 8 30 but it's okay I like having a slow morning routine um, coffee is very important and I made sure to hit the privy this time so no trouble there um, yeah we have a new member today his name is Fresh Prince is his trail name and he is wonderful. He's been hiking with us today. Uh, it sounds like today might be the last day for uh, Jane, who is uh, Teresa's friend. She was only out here for a section hike to start with Teresa anyway, but we may be saying goodbye to her soon at Dix Creek Gap. So it was such a pleasure hiking with Jane though. She's wonderful. And uh, yeah, just enjoying the views and the nice weather. Again, so grateful that we were able to dry up the other night. Uh, camping last night was superb, and I wore my earplugs, um, which actually really helped <laughs> me sleep better. So thank you, 007, for that. All right, I'll check in later. Bye.
Chris? <laughs> you can do whatever you're doing. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna talk to my camera. <laughs> um, we're almost to the Georgia, North Carolina border, which is really exciting to have our first milestone. We're taking a lunch break and I'm eating a cliff bar and I'll show you what the other girls are eating. Yeah, As I'm... you're fine. And then Emily's kind of got the same thing actually. <laughs> Tortilla and tuna. So I might have to get some of those because they look pretty good, better than my cliff bar right now. Almost to the border. Say hi to Jane also since she's watching. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> thank you. Okay. Yay! We just made it to the our first border crossing. Say hi, Emily. Hello. <laughs> and there's Teresa. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Here it is. Right here. First border crossing, North Carolina. Yay! We're all happy. I know. It's our first milestone. Yeah. Going to North Carolina. Woo! So I'm at the Muskrat Creek uh, shelter and I came out here to hang my bear bag and I kind of trekked a little bit out into the woods, but it's a freaking bear bag graveyard out here. <laughs> Let me show you. So here, and I'll zoom in for you. Hold on one second. You can see that rock right there. Just abandoned. And then we'll zoom out. You can notice this red line here attached to nothing. <clears throat> and then over here, we've got this very colorful rock bag, just again, abandoned. String goes to nothing. Guess they couldn't get it un, uh, <clears throat> undone up there, unfortunately. And then just on the other tree is a green one. So learn how to hang your bear bags properly, people. I've been lucky so far uh, with my own. The orange cord keeps going and there it goes. So yeah, a bit of a bear bag graveyard. Hopefully mine doesn't end up like theirs. All right, so a quick update. I was successful in getting my bear bag hung over. I'm gonna have to kind of tie it off to his side um, to get it kind of centered for the six feet across. But while I was trying to hang it, I actually knocked off this one. So I guess now I have a new bag and some extra cord. Yay! And this is uh, what my bear bag it looks like for now. So there's the rock. I clipped the string. We got some extra rope and it's hung up there. Um, and I'm going to kind of tie it off I think to this tree behind me to make the bag hang more in the center. I'll show you in a bit. But yeah, I got it over. All right, so there you have it. My bear bag is hung in the middle, tied off to that tree over <laughs> there. And uh, yeah, it's suspended kind of in the center. 